folks, we're looking at opera and conditioning, right? Um, so we've already talked about opera and behavior. You can go look up all our videos on opera and behavior. It's totally fine. Um, in fact, you know, it, it's more than totally fine. It's required of you. Go read those videos. Read them. Read them well. There's only one thing to read. Anyway, I digress. Um, because opera, <laughs> because the environment shaped me to digress. That's why. <laughs> That's really funny, and you'll find out why by the end of this video. All right. So, uh, anyway, opera and conditioning, folks. We already know about opera behavior. That's the voluntary stuff. You emit behaviors, right? Yeah, you, you emit behaviors. You don't elicit them, right? So we have voluntary responding, and the environment operates on that response. Of course, the environment is everything around you. We've talked about all that, too. So the point to remember about opera and conditioning is that we're talking about selection of the behavior. There are two, three-ish, and a whole bunch of other basic processes that get involved here, but the things you need to focus on is reinforcers. Reinforcers increase the probability of a response in the future, and that's something we need to remember. We can only, consequences of behavior only affect the future of the behavior. They don't affect the past. We can understand what might happen to a behavior by watching the consequences and then seeing the probability, or sorry, and then seeing those behaviors happen in the future. And we, anyway, we can talk about all that fun stuff later, but right now you need to know reinforcers, strengthen responses, punishers decrease responses, extinction does some other stuff, and we'll get into that in a little bit, kind of does a little of both. Um, so what we really got to focus on then is that the consequence, the, 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 the consequence that change behavior are those three things, but we're going to focus on punishment and reinforcement. How does it all work? Well, <laughs> It's a long story. In fact, it's so long that we decided to create an entire YouTube channel around it. So um, we're just going to get into, the, into it a little bit today. First off, it's automatic. The, the organism does not have to decide to do this stuff. It just happens. They don't even have to be aware of it, OK? Humans included, by the way. Yes, you. You don't have to be aware of your behavior being reinforced for it to be reinforced. It just happens. That's just the way it is, OK? Um, same thing goes for punishment, right? Um, so, some other things we got to think about here is that um, the consequences affect any behavior, right? Again, it's not one we choose, it's just anything. It doesn't even have to be logical, man, I'm telling you. It can just be anything. You should see the position that Brad's in right now, it would blow you away. Um, he doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be logical for him to stand that way. It's just that it works, it functions, it gives us a hell of a beautiful shot, and no one else is going to be getting these kind of shots for various reasons, uh, because our reinforcement history is pretty freaking weird. Anyway, um, let's see what else. Immediacy, absolutely important. The more immediate the consequence is for the behavior, the bigger the effect, all right? Uh, lots of reasons for that. We'll get into all that stuff in the future, <laughs> maybe. Um, anyway, and then um, let's see what else. Gosh, I think that's probably about it. I think there was one more. see any behavior, future behavior, immediacy. Yeah, I think I've gone through them all, all right? So those are your basics of operant conditioning. And it's, again, it's about selection of consequences. It has nothing to do with the organism deciding to do anything. So in reality, there's a lot of uh, things that look like the organism, organism is making a decision, but really it's just about what's happened to them in the past. And in the past, they've been reinforced for doing certain things, and, and those things generalize. Oh, I forgot one that response classes, right? So uh, the generalization popped it into my head. So response classes are what's selected for, not an individual response. So how to write, uh, not not a specific particular pattern of writing, okay? Um, so turning on the light switch like this or like this, it's the same function. So we focus on functions in the world, uh, the function of behavior, and that's what we're talking about here. So let's put that big package together and let's say operant conditioning, the modification of your voluntary behavior through the consequences, the interactions of your behavior with the environment. That's really what we're getting at. And I think we're just going to come back later and talk about reinforcers and punishers. And for that, I'm out of here.